Hey, I'm David Carnoy, executive editor for CNET.com, and I'm here with the Sound Freak Sound Kick, a wireless Bluetooth speaker that retails for an affordable $100 and has some nice features and good sound quality for its price point. As you can see, it's got an attractive, clean design, and I liked how the back portion retracts into the unit when not in use, making the overall footprint smaller. To turn the unit on, you do have to extend the back compartment, which has rubberized feet and not only forms a stand, but is also supposed to enhance bass performance. It's a cool design element, and while the speaker stands up fine, it ends up being a little unstable, and if you bump into it at all, it'll rock a little and may fall over. Aside from that small gripe, there is a lot to like here. It's easy enough to pair a Bluetooth-enabled smartphone or tablet, and you get an auxiliary input on the back for connecting audio devices that don't offer Bluetooth support. On top of that, there's also a USB port that allows you to charge your phone or iPod, but it only works when the included AC adapter is plugged in or the volume is at set at 70% or lower. That AC adapter is used to recharge the unit's built-in battery, which is rated at an ample seven hours of playing time. In terms of other design touches, it's worth noting that the buttons on top of the unit are touch sensitive. Some people like these types of buttons and some don't. I thought they were fine and liked how there was a separate pair button that puts the speaker into pairing mode. While SoundFreak doesn't include a remote with the unit, it does offer a free remote app for iOS and Android devices. It doesn't really do anything but put a skin on your music player, but it's free, so there's nothing to complain about. As for sound, I thought the sound kick was quite decent for a compact speaker that's priced at $100. It can play louder than smaller speakers like the Jawbone Jambox and can handle more volume without distorting so long as you engage the UQ3 sound spatializing mode, which essentially optimizes the performance of the speaker. You want to keep it on all the time, which makes you wonder why SoundFreak didn't just bake it into the speaker and do away with the button. Overall, the speaker sounds pretty detailed, and while it offers some bass, it does sound a bit thin and doesn't deliver anywhere near the base of Bose's SoundLink wireless Bluetooth speaker, which starts at $300 but produces much better sound. However, that's not really a fair comparison. When you're dealing with a compact $100 Bluetooth speaker, you just can't expect the world. In other words, as long as you keep your expectations in check, you should be fairly impressed. After you add everything up, this speaker does offer good value for the money. It has an attractive design, some nice extras like the USB charging feature, and performs well for its size. I'm David Carnoy, and that's the Sound Freak Sound Kick Portable Bluetooth Speaker.